everyone. Welcome to Pep Talk. I'm Paulina Marini, and today we're going to talk about a health condition that affects 10% of the children in the U.S., which means 6.4 million kids, and about 5% of adults that represents over 14 million people. I'm talking about attention deficit disorder, known as ADD or ADHD. All right, so what is ADD? ADD is a disorder that causes a range of behavior difficulties, such as trouble staying focused or getting easily distracted, forgetfulness, frustration, exhaustion, moving the feet or the body constantly, disorganization, time management skills, boredom, procrastination, sensitive emotions, and mood swings. All right, so what causes ADD? Many studies suggest that genes played a large role. Like many other conditions, ADD results from a combination of factors. In addition to genetics, researchers are looking at possible environmental factors. Brain injuries and nutrition may contribute to ADD. ADD is also one of the most common and misunderstood conditions. The first misconception about ADD is that people think ADD is a childhood disorder. Well, Lynn Adler from New York University is one of the leading researchers in the field. He believes that at least 75% of adults who have ADD do not know that they have it. This is a huge proportion, and this lack of public knowledge causes difficulties to the individual and their families and friends. Sometimes, parents only recognize their own symptoms when their child is diagnosed with ADD. The second misconception is people either think ADD is not a thing, or that if you have, you cannot hold a job or function professionally and socially. That is not true. ADD, it is a disorder that needs to be addressed but it does not make you any less smart, professional, successful, creative, and brilliant. Take Albert Einstein, Bill Gates, JFK, Michael Jordan, Michael Phelps, Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears. They all live or lived with ADD. They channeled the pros and cons of this condition into thriving careers in sports, science, entertainment, business, and even politics. A person with ADD have a brain that it's wired differently, and that's okay. Their brain is like a powerful race car going full speed. Getting the right diagnosis and the proper treatment will work on the brakes of that Ferrari brain and help them slow down when they need to make a turn. Sometimes a struggle is one area becomes an advantage in another. It's important to look beyond the negatives and find the positives and use them as assets for succeeding. Being diagnosed can turn frustration into success. If you identify yourself, your child, or a loved one with some of these symptoms, educate yourself about the topic and seek professional help to get a proper diagnosis. Getting social support and better coping skills by talking with family, friends, and colleagues about the diagnosis, it's very important. If the people in your life are aware of your diagnosis, they will better understand your behavior. There are also support groups for adults with ADD. Now, if your kid has ADD, team up with teachers, grandparents, relatives, and babysitters. It is important that all the adults that care for your child agree on how to handle your child's behaviors. Working with a professional if needed can help you better understand how to work together to support your child. Learn the tools of su successful behavior management. Behavioral techniques have been widely established as a key component of ADD treatments. Parent training is also a good way to learn strategies to change behaviors and improve your relationship with your child. Also, exercise, meditation, 
Therapy and medication are successful ways to help regulate focus and other ADD symptoms. ADD is a good news diagnosis. Life can only get better when the diagnosis is made and a person embraces the condition and get educated about it. For more information, check National Institute of Mental Health website and Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.